We'll strap in and hold on tight. It's time for another exciting episode of the Cowboy Rowdy Podcast. <laughs> Governor. No, then I'm coming correct. Let me talk to you guys about something that they can do both drunk and high that is extremely pleasant. I think our podcast needs a budget for guns. Kale, boy. Rowdy. Well, shoot, dang. Crack a cold one, baby. What is it with this fucking podcast? Hey, it's your host, Cam Beasy Berry. Joining us as always, we've got show producer, a modern Bay comic, Michael Booth. What's up? Hey, thanks for joining, man. Good to have you here. How's uh, how's things been? Labor Day pretty, stuff around pretty the Pretty good. Trying to survive this heat wave, you know? Heat wave. California is very hot. Also here, hot. resident comedian and filmmaker, Anthony Barrera. What's up, what's up? It's your boy, Anthony. We're Woo. here on the, you know, CRP shit. Woo! We got almost almost first and 15th level self-introduction on the Anthony there. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Loving the energy. It seems like he's putting in almost exactly half the work. <laughs> it's like half, half the effort, almost exactly. <laughs> Not just playing. And then we also have studio engineer and quality control advisor at a methadone clinic, Sebastian McCabe. That's me. Just uh, just got off a long day uh, inspecting inspecting uh, some, some methadone. One way to make sure it's good. Only one way to make sure that it's going to be enough for the people who really need it. Have you seen that movie, uh, uh, yeah, Vanishing also Point? Just... No, I haven't, actually. Mm. I feel like you're in your 40s going to hit a moment that's kind of like a Vanishing Point moment. And I don't mean like... I'll have to see be, that movie. Be Is like, that the Johnny know, Depp one? No, 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 no. Wait, which one? Which uh, one? Which one Vanishing did you say? Point. Is that Johnny Depp or no? No, 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 no. It's a it's a lesser known crew, but it's a, it's a nice Hollywood stunt. But it's got a challenger in it that's amazing, and it's just a hot rod movie to the max. But it's also a drug movie to the max, and it just kind of nice. fits. So anybody okay. who's listened in, who's seen the movie Vanishing Point, will know. Anybody who doesn't, go watch the movie Vanishing Point. Very good movie. Very good movie. Badass. How old is that yeah, movie, dude? Hell yeah, it's badass. You How old me? is that movie? He says. Uh, it's from the seventies. It's like so. It's like forty five, yeah, fifty years old. Uh, it's like when Challenger just came out, so I think it was like that's the only thing I know about it. I think it was like it had oh, yeah. that car. Oh, it was one of those so fucking movies that was like, good. oh my god! If you like, <laughs> if you like pe- movies where people like drive away from cops, like running from cops, it's got that full throttle. If you got like people like break the laws and just like live like a wild man and just enjoy every second of everything, and just full to the max. Rawr, that's that's. I feel like point. I've seen that movie. You know, I feel like I've seen it's that movie clipped, already. It's been referenced so many times, but if you haven't seen it in its whole entirety, it's a good experience. And they got like, they got high res qualities now, so like that's super enjoyable. Anyways, uh, we're feeling good. It's a good weekend, good time. Heat wave a little bit. Like what you were saying, I don't mind it at all. What do you guys got planned for summer? Anything actually happening this summer for you? Um, uh, well, I mean, it, it is September, yeah, I was say, but, it's September um, but, yeah. yeah. Well, nothing's happened yet. <laughs> yeah. so what do? <laughs> it's over, dude. Like, Football starts it's, soon. I mean, I think it's, it's only over. sad girl bummer. There's nothing like nothing's going to happen. There's got to um, be something. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, it's just like every time, every time I go try to do something, wherever I try to go is either on fire, too hot, full of tourists or all three. <laughs> and, like, to like, the worst is when it's on fire and full of tourists. That is not a good scenario. I, oh, actually, I was gonna go camping this weekend with some friends, and we made plans. And then when the Ooh. fires start picking up, we were like, "Hey, look, there's way too much going on. This is not a good time to be making plans to go to the woods. Let's let's cancel." So we canceled like three weeks ago. And, and then I'm watching on the news last night. People are fired in at their campsites. I was just gonna to bring lakes. that up. Yep. Actually, was it Mammoth Pool Reservoir? There was a couple, I think. Oh, people were basically, yeah, it was the, the creek fire. I saw, I saw a video on TikTok actually that was somebody there when they were doing a spinning around, and you could see it all around them. They're like, "Hopefully, we get out of here." And you're like, "Jesus, Holy fuck. how?" Can you imagine that terror. I mean, having the water there, you know, at the very least, you can just stay in the water, but the air gets so there's no oxygen in it. Yeah, it there's no all oxygen. The oxygen. To breathe, you yeah. can just like suffocate. So it's not even the physical fire at that point. It's all the other indirect stuff terrifying and it was on tiktok that's weird because you'd think you'd want more than like 15 <laughs> seconds or a minute worth of like the content you know well Look it at was your just, last moments yeah let's go just like, like a... let's just do a facebook live or something let's get the full thing let's not put yeah, that it was like a i need interesting video i need the chinese <laughs> government to see it before well I go. Uh, uh, 
it, you start to see the value in TikTok if they can be in that scenario and still have like a good connection and still get out and still do all that. TikTok's got some infrastructure. <laughs> Are they still on the clock? TikTok? Are you talking about you for the yeah that forty five day clock to, My, to get purchased? Microsoft or? is gonna is gonna buy it. Are they like gonna wait until the last people. day Microsoft's or some shit? Gonna buy it. That's really not good. What do you mean? Yeah, My, Microsoft is is supposedly has a deal in the works to uh, to buy TikTok's North American operations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. They, they have Which, a computer. Like, what is fucking? What does Microsoft want with TikTok? They're trying to get in the yeah, social like media game, trying, dude. Well, Microsoft yeah, is like the computer. They have everyone's late. porno. Like, what do they care about everything else but now? Like, what what more does Bill Gates <laughs> need? He has everything. Like, what, what is Bill Gates want? isn't there anymore. That's, Bill that's, Gates that's, would not buy yeah, TikTok. That's true. Okay, okay. He'll get his hands on it. I know how he works. <laughs> uh, I just well, because Bill Gates has the fucking he has the the reptilian overlord agenda. He's, he's gonna to. he's gonna pull what's called a Bill Gates on it, and he's gonna own TikTok. Uh, I guarantee you that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, speaking he's of, still, he's still pulling the strings. Yes, yeah, speaking of people working, everything's starting to open up a little bit. Massage parlors are open now. You know that massage parlors are open. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I don't know. I could probably use, I could use a massage. April got yeah. one last night. April got one last night. That there's like even in the worst hot spots in California, you can still get a massage now. It just has to be outdoors. Interesting. Yeah, and mm. they can't lick you, and they can't cough on you, which is like almost what's the point? That was like half like the outdoor experience. massage. What that's the like fuck? A, do they that's lick a you in a massage? They've already capitalized on you know like yeah they do like in a, a in tropical places a resort oh, they always okay. do the outdoor yeah, massage. Yeah, I mean I guess the weather's got to be good. Yeah. But. Yeah. It's been good. It's been hot AF, dude. But it's been too. But also, hot. to you think any outdoor massage you're getting here, it's not going to be like in like a dope, like tropical, cool spot. It's going to be like in the parking lot. It's going to be 20 feet from the True. dump for the whole uh, re- commercial lot. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna yeah be there's a, like a jack in the box next the to you. Sidewalk. You just hear people's orders for the whole time. And you're just <laughs> there's no canopy, down. so you're just sweating while they're massaging you. Yeah. You're face down at the parking lot. And like you, you can just, just see a guy. the crack. Can I get a large number seven? Uh, curly fries. There's like a used condom on the fucking floor. <laughs> used condoms are going by like tumbleweeds just underneath the like, table. What happened? Like, oh. Yeah. What happened here earlier? There's a condom on the ground. Like there's just a condom hanging from the table. You're like, ah. Oh. I think you know what happened here last time. <laughs> That's I'm not ready for parking lot massages. Some stuff. I don't think that's COVID safe, bro. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> uh, you know who? You know who capitalized on parking lot massages way before these places, though. I think the homeless. I think they kind of niche that one. So if we're gonna give somebody royalties, I think we know who gets it. Uh, they won't get it. Just every homeless yeah. person. If you can figure out the licensing for that, yeah, whoever the guy jerking off people under the overpass, I'm pretty sure it was his idea first, because <laughs> he's been <laughs> at it since the '80s. <laughs> I, I saw. I, I was out. <laughs> I was out driving the other day, and uh, I'm, I'm sure maybe you guys have seen this as well. Um, a lot of, like, sort of karate and martial arts places are having... Oh, I have, yeah, yeah. And it's very funny just to drive by, and you just see, like, a bunch of kids doing karate in a parking lot. Never been easier like to kidnap them, by the way. child <laughs> army. You can just drive well, I mean, by a lot of places. You kidnap yeah. those dudes because they'll do karate on you. A lot of places are starting to reopen away. using this outdoor kind of strategy. You know, a lot of places around town, thankfully, have been able to start making some money. Imagine this, though. I, I ma- saw. It. Oh. I was gonna say with the karate thing. Oh, Imagine just... this: you're at the karate class, and you're the guy who sucks in class, and now you got to work out outside. <laughs> and everybody's Everybody laughing at you. Everybody does a perfect eh? kick, and you fall on your ass every time. You're like, hey, coach, could we just like one person inside, maybe? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's gotta suck, this, dick. The worst person gets to go inside. Everybody beats your ass because they see you suck at karate. They're like, oh, that guy doesn't learn nothing. Like, <laughs> we're right. literally taking it to the streets, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You better be good if you're doing karate outside, man, because everybody knows you're bad. Yeah. Uh, everyone's gonna see you. Yeah, what are you saying? We're advertising. We should, uh, uh, we should get into I this saw. So real quick on the note of on the note of reopening, I've seen a bunch of you know places have the outdoor dining now, mm, and yeah, maybe yeah. you guys have seen this too. Um, I've been to a lot of the three. places, a lot of these restaurants have put up these like these tents, right? But are that are fully enclosed. I've seen it like there's like two or three in, in town here. It's a building the, without they have the hygiene. These tents that are fully enclosed, like a, a ceiling, like no windows or anything, just like a fully enclosed giant tent, and it's like. I don't think that this fucking counts as outdoors anymore. <laughs> like, 
I don't think this is any safe. <laughs> Science is out the window. Like, literally one person arbitrarily goes, oh, a okay, million percent. this much air is bad, so if you're outside, it's good, so you yeah. got to do it outside. And they're like, well, this is technically outside. And it's just like, it's crazy. Yeah. And then There's they'll no... fucking move the goalposts again. Oh, yeah. It's insane. <laughs> it makes no sense. And the whole, the whole tent thing is like, the reason how door works is because of sunlight, right? It's got to be during the daytime. You put a fucking tent up, dude. You're on the sunlight. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, the whole yeah. thing is just I like, accidentally you know, channeled outside, you get <laughs> somebody that should not be air channeling flowing. for a second there. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you guys I think? think is, what do you think is going to be the last to open? Like, last fully. Open. Like, fully last open. Date? Or is just that any place. place. It doesn't have to be a state. Mouth. Denny's? Denny's will probably be the last. Oh, wait, they're already open. Denny's is already open. Yeah. yeah. Uh, They've I been think open. That, I think the last, like, state to fully open is probably going to be Washington. Um, just my reasoning being that Washington was kind of one of the first spots when COVID was kind they of... They were the worst at yeah. first. It's going to so be hypersensitive. The I big think death that, count. Yeah, I yeah. think that sensitivity, I think that, uh, you know, they're... Washington's pretty, you know... I feel like they're always uh, kind of, you know, with it. or kind of ahead of the curve and stuff like this. Um, and so I feel like they're going to take, you know, just that extra precaution. They're going to stay closed down the longest... And then they'll, I think, but that's just, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it'll be California will be like second to last, but Washington will probably hold out the longest, I think. I feel when like I think, California would probably be last. When I think of states, I think, I think of California is kind of like a prostitute. And so I think it's going to open up pretty quick, pretty easy. I think it's just going to take a little bit of this, a little bit of cashola. Well, know, they, they did, and then we had to close it again. But that's the True. thing. They already tried. Literally, in the middle of the pandemic, they already tried. They're definitely going to yeah. open up right away. Because here's why. California makes so much money for the United States. So when that money dries up, it's not just going to be the state going, oh, how do we save? The Fed's going to be like, hey, um, look in a little light, bud. Let's hit those streets. <laughs> Let's get that da la la Idaho needs their fucking money, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah we You got to help out Kentucky to build roads. Yeah, they need... can't afford to do that themselves. Yeah, we need some paper. So oh, California man. needs to put them heels on, hit the streets. And so it's going to open. It's going to open real soon. I think Hawaii could take a minute, even though it's like semi already open. I think if Hawaii was smart, they would just never open. This is how you get rid of the colonizers. Yeah, they'd start this pumping their numbers one. up. This is e yeah, you get like twelve Hawaiian dudes with a bad cough in the hospital all at the same time. They're like, no, brother, you ain't gotta come. And then you get everybody running away, and then just never. See, that's where you up. should build the wall. That's where the yeah. wall should go. They need to build a wall around the airport in uh, Maui and Oahu, and uh, and then boom, they're good. So. That, that's 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 the Hawaii thing. I think honestly, one of the no last more places, New Yorkers. If we're talking like outside of America, what do you think some of the countries that are going to be the last to open? Up? North Korea, North Korea. <laughs> well, they did, they never opened to begin with. <laughs> no, they were open in the fifties. They were open for business in the fifties. <laughs> I, I think there's North one place. Korea still still claims that nobody in the country has coronavirus. I think there's one place that's going to open up after Korea. That's the bat cave exhibit in Wuhan. <laughs> I think that one's staying close for a minute. <laughs> yeah. well, a large amount of tourists flocking to that shit. <laughs> Big rebrand in the works. We're going to have to really figure out. I thought out it was very alternative. ironic that uh, somebody on set of the new Batman film got COVID. I was like... Yeah. It was Robert, Robert Pattinson. Pattinson. Yeah, yeah oh, maybe. Lives with him. the fucking bats. Go figure. I just want to say this: the start yeah. of every poor pandemic movie from now on, the new trope that we're all gonna get tired of, is someone hearing like a. <laughs> and then you zoom into their like face. The two eyes come you in. Zoom into their face, and all of a sudden. <laughs> guano in their eye and they're like Ow! and it's bat shit and that's the new start of every it's the new horror trope that none of us want to see anymore and it's every fucking it's gonna be like <laughs> and I'm already it's like, sick it's of gonna it. replace like the, the the monkeys in a lab yep. or whatever it's not some monkey scratches some lab coat guys he's walking by anymore <laughs> it's it's not yes. some guy sitting there in like a bird to, oh, oh, he's like feeding it with <laughs> seeds in his hand and then he like cough Ugh. it's gonna be bat shit in the eye every time and I'm not having it God damn it. Yeah, How weird would it be if they found weird, out somebody uh... fucked a bat? <laughs> it's like AIDS. It's like, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. How would do you know how, do you you know how small that, that, that fucking hole is, dude? I've never I've never researched, I'll be honest. I've you got a pinky it, it, you know? Uh, uh, don't go. Don't go don't, there. Don't try to, like, really think it about bad. it. Like. <laughs> This is You're the, the one talking about fucking bats. Fucking... This is when poop face gonna... backfires. I never it keeps said, happening. Uh... 
Um, I'm, gonna, so... I'm gonna disconnect Anthony from the call. That's our studio engineer. That's our studio engineer who managed that slick move right there, uh, by the way. Jeez. <laughs> I was trying to actually just turn my volume down a little bit. That oh was really. Goodness. You gotta reverse psychology him to get him to do something right on the podcast. I'm like, hey, uh, my volume's a little high. And also, it's like, um, <laughs> cranked up. I'm so. Like, ah. so uh, <laughs> Sorry, for, for those of you not watching the video, I said that and then promptly disconnected myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, on the audio, you disconnected too. Everyone could tell. So. <laughs> oh, nice. Sweet. Okay. Um, so our next, uh, our next segment here is about, uh, is about placebo effect. Ooh, um, I'm an expert okay. at these. I'm an expert and, at these. Uh, I think we all I have some a, good... I actually just did a, a clinical trial for a COVID vaccine, and I don't know if it's... Really? I don't know if it's working. Anyway. What was it? What was it? Well, raise your hand if you've not been do, microchipped by the government. Yeah, yeah do indulge, but yeah, did what you get Neuralink installed over the weekend? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if a date goes bad, you can't just call it a COVID experiment, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have like a lab and some shit, you know. <laughs> Listen, I, I got a I got a really good placebo story, um, actually including our friend Sebastian here. Mm -hmm. Um, so this one time, right? Uh, I hit Sebastian up to hang out. We're going to smoke this blunt. And uh, he gets there, and I got the blueberry swishers, right? I pull one out and then make it look a little, you know, uneven, and, like, I had just rolled it or whatever, and we spark it. And then, he, like, we're all passing it around laughing because Sebastian's the only one not in on the joke. And oh, he's smoking nice. it like he's getting high. Naturally. I really thought. Naturally. He doesn't know how high he is. For all I know, he was high. He's like, is high when all your friends are laughing? I like high. <laughs> high is good. <laughs> yeah, we went through the whole fucking thing, right? We went through the whole thing. And then we're like, okay, let's spark the next one. And he's like, whoa, whoa, guys. I need a break. Oh, I've been having the classic move, double down. See, that's when a poop face works. Yo, I just like, smoked this like, double cigarillo, dude. I need to chill, dude. <laughs> yeah. This shit was like the strongest you know what the, stuff you know what I've the ever seen. You know what the worst part of it was, though? There was one guy there who, like, doesn't smoke tobacco at all, wouldn't smoke a cigarette, like, nothing. And he was, like, taking hits of the, just the rate, the straight-up swisher mm -hmm. and, like, not flinching or anything. Just the commitment he to really the, helped to the role, man. Yeah, add, yeah, commit to the bit. That almost just seems like bad acting. <laughs> he was, like, kind of giving you whole, a, whole... a, a sign that it wasn't real. He's like, <sighs> he's, like, putting it out in his tongue and stuff. He's drawing kind of funny shit. Yeah, this does not taste like weed at all. The... the... You're all, it's the good weed, dude. I'm You're wrong. Like, man, like, this, this tastes really weird. <laughs> Yo, this weed is really harsh, dude. I don't know what's Yeah, going he asked on, the, what kind of weed was it. I was like, oh, it's it's blueberry kush, dude. It's blueberry kush. I tried that one time with mushrooms. Some friends gave me some shrooms, and I wanted so bad to have a trip that I kept being like, yeah, I think I'm, like, super, like, I'm shrooming out hard. <laughs> like, I think like, I'm whoa, feeling whoa, shroomy. <laughs> and they were like, how do you feel? And I was like, dude, like, the fucking, like, the shrooms have got me. <laughs> they were like, yeah, but, like, what are you, like, what are you experiencing? Yeah. I'm like, dude, if experiences were shrooms, mine's a big fucking one, dude. <laughs> and they were just like, no, no. Like, I am the shrooms, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and they could tell. They could super tell. They're like, dude, we don't think you're actually having like a good shroom trip. Here, take some more. And I was like, dude, I'm a fucking shrooming like hard. <laughs> and then they kept giving me shrooms. Then eventually I did start tripping, and it was like way too intense. <laughs> so rookie move. Don't try and double down sometimes. Sometimes no one to call in and cash in the <laughs> chips. No one to fold them. <laughs> I was uh... – uh, I was trying to think of, you know, placebo story, and my friends kind of did the, the opposite. They would tell me that things aren't as, like, strong yeah, as they yeah. are. <laughs> Reverse like placebo. Dicks. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, like, in college, we was at a party one time. D don't and worry, was, man. This uh, is some weak shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no opium in there's this. A drink called, there's a drink called apple pie. I don't know if you guys know what this is, but it's, like, uh, apple, familiar. cider, cinnamon, and Everclear. Okay, and uh, okay. oh god, you can't taste the Everclear at all. <laughs> oh, I know so that. I, I know that. I remember asking my friends, like, "Hey, man, is this strong?" And they're like, "Nah, you're good." <laughs> 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 and I just blacked out. <laughs> like five of them. Like, These are delicious. My first like, time drinking, like just uh, blacked out and woke up on my friend's floor and was like, "Oh my!" Does god. that happen every time? <laughs> Dude, sweet, sweet drinks are the death of people. Sweet drinks in general, it's always like a Trojan army with the alcohol. It's freaking gnarly. Yeah. I love giving a Long Island iced teas to April because she usually drinks like 
a like she'll have like a lemon drop in like a tiny little martini glass. So she's having like half a shot, and then I'll get her a Long Island with like four shots, and she's like, "This is good." And I'm like, "Yeah, it's like fruit punch." <laughs> she'll finish it. She's like, one yeah, <laughs> one glass later, she's uncontrollable like, dabbing. She's like, "This place is great." And I was like, "Man, it always been dabbing for five years. You gotta calm she's down." Just she's just going uncontrollable dabbing. It's she's it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> have you guys ever had April a actually dabbing? That's so funny. Have you guys ever had amaretto? Amaretto. It sounds familiar, but I can't. Uh, recall. Yeah, it's a uh, whiskey derived from like almonds or whatever. It's it right. tastes like fucking apple juice. You don't taste it, but it's the same consist. It's the same alcohol as like Jack Daniels, like forty percent. So you're taking shots of this thing, it's and it tastes like apple juice. Of like, like almost maple syrup. It's, it's very like... thick, but yeah. you don't taste the yeah, alcohol at say. all. You can pound seven of these things and feel like you're you're good, but then they'll all hit you at the same time, and you're mm. done. You're done after that. And you, you know make a just... fucking fool of yourself at the bar and get kicked out. Well, I mean, not everybody gets 86, Man. just sissy. I'm just saying, some people do. You know what, <laughs> Anthony? Seven is a weirdly specific number. Is there a story behind that yeah. that you'd yeah. like to share? He's so all great. I start my sucking friend, a dick, and they call me back in after that. <laughs> and he's like, have you ever had amaretto? And he, I'm like, no. And he, he buys around, and we take the shots. Mm-hmm. And then he buys a drink of amaretto. And then he buys me a drink of amaretto. Now the bartender probably doesn't sell amaretto that much, so she topped her f- our fucking drinks off all the way to the top. And uh, yeah, it was She's bad like, news. Gotta get after a new that. bottle of this soon. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> it's funny you guys talk about alcohol. I have an alcohol placebo story too. It actually involves Seb. I I was a uh, is it, I did a double blind study with Seb. Uh, it was double blind because I didn't tell him and I didn't let anybody else tell him either. And what we did was we started switching out some of your drinks when you'd come over for live recordings. And we would switch uh, the alcohol so that you weren't getting alcohol, which is like the placebo thing. And we would put liquid diuretic in there. And then we would see how long uh, into the show you would take to get a bathroom break. And when you say we, like, I didn't just. I wasn't involved. Is that why? (laughs) It was a wee thing. It was a wee thing. Is that why? Well, it was it was double blind too. No, it was so weird. I thought I was getting skinnier. Yeah. No, you I were. I thought I was getting skinnier. I was we measuring. I can tell you person. how much if you're actually curious. But no, uh, <laughs> like all Michael this round was table pizza that we keep having is not good. <laughs> yeah, Michael was involved. He actually drank a couple of the beers, but he didn't notice because he was eating a lot of Taco Bell at the time. So it was just kind of like, it was like a double blind placebo. Just chalked it up to other shit. Jesus. I was like, it was a lot of there was placebos flying every which way. And nobody could figure out nothing. I was in a cloud of placebo, so nobody could see me. And it was uh, it was fun. I think we all learned a lot. You lost weight. Hey, I'm sorry the summer wasn't fun to show it off, but you got there. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of like a, just a confidence. It's okay, booster. man. This summer was was an aborted mission anyway. Yeah. The year was an aborted mission. And if anybody should be mad at me, yeah. I spent a lot of money on liquid diuretics. Yeah, well, it didn't fucking work according to plan, did it, Cameron? Well, okay, but or I'm the it. only one who didn't get to try it. That's not fair. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Hey, it's okay, uh, Cameron. Once we once we get back into the studio, I I got something for you. Okay, I will never trust <laughs> anything from Seb ever again now. Which he should have never trusted <laughs> anything from me in the first place. So a little touche there, but <laughs> the war has begun. <laughs> so you want to take us to this next one, Anthony? Absolutely. Listen, um, it's the thirty second pitch. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Fan favorite. We're bringing it. You know. Uh, this one's going to be places that you would hide someone. Let's say a friend comes to you, is in some trouble. Hey, man, I need a, I need you to hide me. What have, what have you, you guys got? Thank you for clarifying. I want to let the listeners know that when you first suggested this, we all assumed you were talking about burying a body, and all of us yep. were concerned, and mm-hmm. none of us wanted to be a part of it. See, this and is what happens. Like, uh, are when you, you asking us something indirectly right now? Like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> and I was looking around. I was like, I think it might be Seb. You know? Yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I think he's playing with his food, Michael. <laughs> um, I would like to go first here. Okay, all right. Please do. Hit it. Uh, you're looking at the place where I'm gonna hide somebody in my closet. You see this sound paneling, bro? Ooh, good Not point. gonna be able to hear him at all. <laughs> and the lock point. is on the outside. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they're gonna, over. they're gonna impure like in 12 podcasts before their body fully decomposes. But yeah. <laughs> that's only and 12 and episodes. And they'll sit on, they'll sit in every recording. They'll just be sitting right here on the side, checking it what out. If you, what if you get death wheezing in background on some other podcast, and that's how they find the body? You see a hand just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like stop! <laughs> Every once in a while, I hear a. Ah. 
<laughs> Air's <laughs> evacuating the up. body. It's like a sign says, help me in his face. <laughs> But yeah, dude, this is like pro not only for recording, but for hiding somebody. Perfect, mm. perfect space. Yep, yep. That's not bad. I like it, and it fits the thirty seconds. That's that dynamo. That's what we're winter material. I just crushed it out of the park. What do you guys got? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. Um, I'll, I'll do you one better. I have a shed. Oh. Ooh. I have, I have, a, I have a shed in my backyard, which is perfect because. There's just enough kind of like overgrowth and stuff in front of it that it looks like we don't oh, really never use done it. Work. Yeah. No. <laughs> like it, it, it's so per like it's it's in good shape. It's standing. You know, it's even insulated, but it looks like we don't use it you at all. Never get to the thing because it, it would be it would be so it. perfect. <laughs> See, I, and also too, all of the windows have like curtains and shit in front. Uh, I, I have all uh, that's in there right now is a bunch of weed that's drying so, out. Like yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh? She, oh, dude, there's a fuckload of spiders in there's there. There's spiders visibly on the there's outside. There's a shitload. It's basically Im impenetrable. <laughs> yeah, there's a fuckload of spiders in there. So you guys both fuck There's spiders, up. like, all, all over the doorknob oh, and everything. God. There's a fuckload in there. That's scary. So get, but nobody will go in there to look for you. I, you guys both fucked up, and I'll tell you how you both fucked up. You both chose your own places where you guys live. That's what Somebody's looking for this guy. Yeah, They're right. going to start looking for his friends, too. So you know what you do? This is the move. This is the fucking move. What you do is you rent out a storage locker under somebody else's name. A storage room, sorry. Storage room under someone else's... A fake name, whatever. And then you stash them there. You put them there with two buckets. You put them there with some food. Maybe a book. Maybe the Bible. Maybe they need the Bible. Maybe and a book. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't then, put myself in hey, your hands. Hey, you come back and check in like book. two days. Motherfucker, you're here in a storage shed, but a book is a maybe? <laughs> what is this operating? <laughs> flaky. Yeah. Also, why two buckets? <laughs> Why is book a baby? One for the, yeah. listen, one for the piss and one for the shit. You don't want those two things mixing. That, that's true. It makes a concoction that's dangerous. The fumes are bad. He's got a good point. Plus, where are you going to put your juice? See, this is all thought out, you know. This is all thought out. Um, I'm just here you to bless you guys with this shit. knowledge. <laughs> He's going to shit bong in two days. <laughs> Honestly. Michael's just going to be over there just like huffing hey, it. Man, like, I saw it on like, Thousand Trees uh, uh, Okay, I don't know. No. I, I like the culpability. How long have you been gone? I like the culpability aspect of Anthony's. He's really distanced him himself from the event while still providing a meager amount of support with possibly a book. I can trumpet that. <laughs> yes. I can. I can trumpet that. Like for real, you know how hard it is to open up a storage unit in someone else's name. Like they need social security numbers and shit for that. I was it's just gonna say they need easy. ID and shit. Yeah, that's yeah, like... yeah. It's very. It's like getting a job. You like an I nine and shit. Like holy You're crap. You're gonna open it up all in that person's work name and then capturing? not grab that's a book. Fucked. Yeah, books are Listen, free. Listen, I've never book. had to stash a human being before, all right? I'm doing oh, the best I can with the tools that's that I have. my idea is going to be the best. Sit down for 30 <laughs> seconds. All right, okay, hit us with it then. What's the one place on Earth you couldn't check even if you wanted? Um, The Library of Congress. Oh, de Safety deposit box. Depending on your view of matter, it's the orbit. And that's where the Tesla that Elon Musk sent up into space is at. And guess who's hiding in the trunk? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the heat's I mean, going to be They're up gone. there with no provisions, though. There's nothing I gave to a, eat. I gave him a can of Banaka and a dust mask. They'll be fine. And he gave him three bucks, dude. Yeah, so keep in mind, this was, 26, this, was, <laughs> this was 2016. So I was like, hey, here's a face mask. You're going to need one of these. Here's some Banaka. Keep it safe. Holy gave him some shit. condoms and some books. I was like, have fun, dude. Knock it out. Here's <laughs> five buckets. Bucket. Here's five buckets just because. <laughs> you know? <laughs> we ain't stingy. Maybe the first bucket gets <laughs> full. I bought like, yeah. Nano. You can, you can separate your shit by consistency with five different buckets. <laughs> what I didn't tell him is that in, in, in high orbit, the, the shit doesn't stay in the buckets very long. So he's... <laughs> no. No, it does not. They're not jars. There are no lids. lids. <laughs> There's not a one damn lid. He's like, come on, motherfucker. Twelve books. Five the buckets. buckets you gave me six Tyler yeah. Perry DVDs. Ah! Where's one lid? <laughs> Just imagine an entire, like, glop of liquid pee just fucking <laughs> roaming. Just this giant every, blob. Every time it passes the sun side of the orbit, just the pee's just boiling in the trunk. It's like, no! The hot pee bath! Oh, yeah. The 24-hour hot sounds, pee bath! This sounds like... 
I, this is, out of all of them, this sounds like the most scariest one to be yeah. part of. Yeah, it's dude, his muscles have, like, atrophied. He's, like, coming back from. And if you do, you don't want to be back. You're like, send me back You just land, like, uh, like what's her name, in gravity on the ground, and you get up, and you're, you're just covered now in your you're in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Ready, round two. Dude. No, you spend any amount of time in the trunk of that Tesla, you are fucked up for life, dude. Oh, Although, so if you sad. do land... Hey, man, you said you said to hide you, you didn't yeah, say you needed to come you didn't back. Say what the fucking terms were, but if you do come back, you probably are going to own a Tesla, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Whoever doesn't kill you the makes least you stronger, they can do. dude. That's you won't be able to drive yeah. it because your legs have atrophied yeah. to the you, point you, where you can't work the nah, pedals. It doesn't matter, they drive themselves. By the way, uh, hey, uh, Sam, guy in your shed, he's only coming out with tetanus, so you want to talk shit? Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's true. Hey, mine sounds Some the most comfortable, bites, I think. Sure. I mean, you got... I, I disagree. I think mine is the most comfortable. You've provided them there with no book. I have the, given them They're one. They're going to watch me do a podcast recording. Where's the book, Michael? <laughs> yeah, honestly, anybody who gave Heidi... There's a lot of stuff Heidi in my closet, the... man. Like... <laughs> There's the collective labels on all the tags of the clothing is a novel unto itself. <laughs> it speaks of the rich cultures of many lands. What do you not want to learn from that? <laughs> Some of my journals are in here too. They probably get it. I don't know. Get they probably get it. <laughs> yearbook, maybe. <laughs> I think they would identify a lot with a lot of what I said. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. What do you What do you guys got for and fucking? Uh, you're just gonna hand them like a, a big stack of like uh, printer paper and a couple pens. Like, oh, you write your own book while you're in here. <laughs> you write your. Make your own fun. Yep. The world's your oyster. Also, oh you're stuck in a closet. <laughs> yeah. So what else you gotta do? <laughs> what do you guys got for uh, what was that? takeaways, bro? <laughs> what was that? What was that movie that came out about that kid who was like raised in a basement or whatever? Boy Blade. It was just oh, the called room, like the, the room, room or room. some shit. Yeah. Or no, not the room. room. That's room. different. It was just room. called Room. Yeah. The Room is yeah, yeah, totally different. Yeah, it's a different I movie. did not kill her. I did not. Oh, hey, Carl. Hey, Mark. I did not. <laughs> What's the hey, guy's Mark. name? I did not. I did not. <laughs> oh, hey, Mark. <laughs> Oh, hi, Mark. So, All right, cool. Now we got that yeah, sorry, out. Sorry, takeaways. <laughs> Seb, Seb's takeaway was, was so... try to hold me back. Try, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast decorum. Right, my takeaway <laughs> is if you, if you need me, if you need to be hidden, I don't know if you should really ask any of us for help. Hey. Maybe Cameron hey. or Michael, I think, would be your best bet. I'll give you a book. Yeah, there's already well, one guy in the Tesla Letting trunk. Letting you stay in my there's home. There's not room for two. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's inferred there's food. I was the nicest one out of all of them. <laughs> I know. Seb's Honestly, like, I got this shed, but it's fucking covered in spiders. I don't give a fuck if you go back there. Only one where the person actually survived, and it was Michael's. Anthony's <laughs> like, I'll give you two buckets, and you got to stay in a, sh a, sh a storage shed that I'm not going to pay for. Yeah. Someone else is, but... You don't get a Anthony is sending you to fucking Guantanamo yeah, Bay. What are you yeah. talking about? Here's a dark box with two buckets. Yeah. There's Fuck no yourself. cock yeah. meat sandwiches anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly, uh, they, uh, they do so not funny. ventilate air into those sheds. Yeah. So that would never um, serve my Anthony's victim. My takeaway is that my friends are dicks. Uh, <laughs> and that, uh, yeah, I, I'm the best at hiding someone, I think. So that's my takeaway. <laughs> Uh, okay, my takeaway is um, that Michael is probably not the best person to hide someone. <laughs> um, Sebastian, I'm trying to get some of that methadone. Um, <laughs> yeah, hit me up later. Cameron, you're in a tank top. Episode 80 shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's good times. Yeah. I'll say this. Uh, I got the same thing. I want to kind of just take a second to talk to all y'all because this is. I feel like this is a really engaging episode. This is a good one. Seb? Your hiding spot is the worst by far, and I. It's not, it's, not that, it's not just that I need to call that out. It's that you should have known that, and that's what. Uh, but there's no upside. To I thought it. I had at least a good shot at beating Anthony. There's no upside to it. I didn't see a single upside. So I feel this... like your hiding victim is the murder one, and I feel like we diverted that attention to Anthony, but it was very misplaced because he's been casting this wide shadow with his young Baphomet persona, where we're not noticing psychopaths in your type. So this is I'm just, Listen, now that radar. that shadow is gone. You're on the radar. A lot more is about to get exposed. You know. Yeah, you're on the radar big time. No though. one is safe. Uh, <laughs> no one is safe. Uh, I do not like uh, Anthony's crazy setup. I feel like that's not so much a hide plan for somebody else. I feel like that's more of like his retirement plan, and I'm worried about him in another way. <laughs> so that's not good to learn. 
and then Michael is just trying to get everybody to live in the closet like he does. This is really weird. I feel like we're projecting <laughs> on people too much. And Jesus I Christ. just wish I actually had access to a Tesla. <laughs> oh, That's the saddest part of this episode. <laughs> I, I yeah, you do don't not. Not one. even one that doesn't function and can't drive. Not even that one do I have access to. So I am as <laughs> as they come when it comes to Tesla ownership. But uh, I love doing this with you guys. This is a good one. This is fun. <laughs> you got some work to do, Cameron. You got to get on the bus. Oh. Peace out. Uh, go read a book. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Read a book in the storage unit. Yeah. Read only one book. Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening to the episode. Make sure to check us out on Instagram at Cowboy Rowdy Podcast. Also on Facebook and YouTube at The Cowboy Rowdy Podcast. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram at KMBZ.Berry. And see me on YouTube at CB Comedy. I'm just below the little Indian kid who makes funny videos in his room. Uh, you can follow me at The Ghost of Anthony on Instagram and at Young Bathman on Twitter. And follow me, Sebastian, on Instagram at Seinfeld. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at underscore mbooth.